Hey Bob, it's me today. I'm here and um doing another video and basically this video is me just talking about, you know, me trying to balance Team Rumble. Because honestly, in my opinion, Team Rumble in Fortnite is kind of unbalanced. And when I talk about four points, I mean I've kinda of made like four points into what I want to change in in Team Rumble. They could be you know, miscellaneous things, they could be you know, some of them are, you know, actual combat related. One of them I'm telling you right now is miscellaneous and it's not really work. it's not really that big a deal, but I'm just gonna bring it up anyway because it, it affects me. I, mean, I, I wanna do what I wanna ask. But before this video gets started, I want you to like the video and subscribe and comment down below because that helps the algorithm out and I've been listening to other YouTubers and that actually works because the YouTube videos have been boosted up in the algorithm. So if we get likes and if you subscribe, it boosts, my, it boosts my videos up. So hopefully I can get big one day. And all, it's all because of you helping me out. So go do that. But without further ado here, I'm going to talk about the first topic, which is um, balancing all the guns. And this is something that a lot of people um, would uh, would kind of hate me about. Because uh, the whole point of Fortnite is that the guns are overpowered, but they shouldn't be. Kind of the main gun that I'm going to be talking about is the combat shotgun. Now, this is, when this thing was introduced in Season 9, I did not like the damage output. It does 70 damage to the body and like over 100 to the head, which shouldn't really be the case because it's a fast shooting shotgun. It should do, in my opinion, 30 damage per shot, which you may say is weak. I say it's not because if it does headshot, then it does 60 or whatever, 60 somewhat damage. Which is pretty OP if you get headshots, and also you shoot from a longer range. Now I know they nerfed it, but it's still you still do it. I do it. It's still fine. It's still over. It's still like a shotgun that you can shoot at a range, which I like. But I think since it's a fast shooting shotgun that shoots out bullets really, really fast than the pump, then uh, it should do 30 damage. And I don't like the pump damage. Well, like like headshotting someone, like one shotting someone is not fair for a gun that is literally everywhere. Except when I, I can't find it, but other people can find it. I mean, if you have attack and someone else has a shock, uh, combat, you're going to lose. Because the attack is slower than the combat. So, you're basically going to die all the time. And you need a combat. Which, hopefully, they up the rarity of it or nerf it. So, when you get a combat shotgun, you're not freaking out. Because whenever I get a combat shotgun, I don't use any of my other guns. I, I just keep using the Comet shotgun until the round's over, unless it's like really, unless they're really far away, and I use a different gun, but majority of the kills I get now are just from the Comet shotgun, it shouldn't really be the case, like, everyone has the Comet shotgun, and it shouldn't really be that way, like, there's no different setups that people have, every setup has the shotgun in it, and it's kind of ridiculous how Epic Games wants everyone to use a shotgun, which... Basically, it's the most overpowered weapon at close range. And I understand what you're saying, shotguns in real life will blow your head off. Yeah, but this is a cartoon video game. There's no logic. Like, you can jump higher than you can in real life. You can slide down ledges without really falling, without taking fall damage if you slide down the mountain. There's a volcano. There's um, flying tubes you can go into, which, you know, you can zoom around the map. This game isn't based off of real life, folks. So, you, you, like, the guns shouldn't be based off of real life either. Like, the creativity you can do with these guns could be anything. And they're basically doing with, like, the cosmetics, like, the storm flipper, like, all those throwable weapons. Like, they're doing creative things with that, but not the guns. <laughs> and it's like, the combat shotgun shouldn't do 70 damage to the body. It should do 30. It'll make the guns so much more balanced. And basically, for every other gun... Um, they're, they're fine. You know, the more I use them, more, like, the assault rifle is fine. The, the SMGs are fine. Um, when they nerfed the drum gun, now it's fine. It's, it's balanced. Yeah, it's a little bit weaker, but the drum gun's fine. The pistols need a little bit of buff. I say, like, you know, a little bit, like, 30 to 40 damage to the pistols. Because I, I suck at the pistols. Like, the, the grape, the, like, using the normal pistols. The gray and green pistols. Not, is there a blue you know, regular pistol. Well, all the pistols in the game I suck with, and the accuracy is terrible with them. Um, probably with Bloom as well, but I'll buff it up to like 40 damage. Because usually whenever, whenever I use the pistols, I just never hit my shots. And I have to like, spray and pray <laughs> with the pistols. And for the snipers, 
they're fine. I mean, the one thing I would do for the snipers is that when you shoot the sniper, and the sniper hits you, like, before the sniper hits you, there'll be a little ding. And I'm not gonna say when the sniper shoot, like, when you shoot the sniper, the ding doesn't start. It's a split second before you get hit with it. So before you get head dinked, you would hear a little ding, which will allow you to, if you can time it right, you can duck and avoid the sniper shot. That's for the, the sweats and the pros to master. That's only for their, they to master. For, you know, myself, it'll, it'll give everyone a fair shot to actually avoid the snipers. If, because it'll take a lot of time. Like, it's, like, the way I want it is at the last second, like the half, last half a second, you hear a ding. And once you hear that ding, you can avoid the sniper shot. If you, if you hear it right, if you actually can avoid it in time. Which, can I know snipers supposed to be long range, supposed to snipe people from across the line, but it's not fair to just insta die, because heavy snipers, a lot of snipers one shot you, and it's like, there's nothing you do about it, there's no warning. So I'm kind of, I'm giving a warning to those snipers, so you can actually, you know, avoid the snipers, if you practice enough, you know, like creating that ding, which hopefully will be impl implemented, I, I, I see that happening, because it'll make balance, but I, I highly doubt it. Now, the second thing I have is remo removing explosions, um, because a lot of the time in Team Rumble, you don't lose your guns, you basically keep them for the rest of the round unless you swap them, but if you have a rocket launcher, you basically get a lot of free kills, because if, because a lot of people don't build, and it's more of a casual game, usually you have people fighting, you don't build, they fight, which, um, let's say you use a rocket launcher, like, I, I, I've been practicing a couple games with the rocket launcher, I use the rocket launcher, and I always get free kills with it if people don't build. Now, they have to be turned this way, though, but it is kind of unfair, because you can master that and basically never die. Be, but, unless someone's shooting from a sniper far away, which, that's a rare occasion, because no one seems to snipe the rocket launcher people, which is really annoying. You know, it's just bad teammates, but, um, the way, like, just remove the explosions, alright, or... Another solution if you don't want to remove them because challenges, you know, like explosive kills, you need, you know, the explosion. It's difficult to do it in a regular game. So doing Team Rumble is the best option, but if that's not the case, then just have, like, a durability timer on it. Like, you can only shoot the rocket, like, like 15 times for, like, it just, just, it just breaks itself. Because that's kind of unfair, and it's kind of a challenge then to get 15 free kills, and if all your shots are accurate. Cause you only shoot like 12 rockets, cause you, you can only hold 12 rockets, so having 15 durability is, is fine. Now I don't see this implemented at all, it's just an annoyance, cause whenever I play Team Rumble, I, there's always one of those teammates or enemies that have, there's always rocket launcher spammers. And it's really difficult, you have to aim your shots all correctly or else you're just gonna die if they see you. And it, that's not fair. The third topic I have is not taking damage while gliding. Now, I cannot explain how many times I die to people well, well, to people who just shoot me down while I'm gliding. It is the most infuriating, annoying thing ever, and the most unfair thing ever, because you can't you can't do anything while you're gliding. Like I don't understand the physics. Like this is a cartoon video game where you slide down mountains without taking any fall damage, you can jump higher than normal. There's a there's freaking two vents over that can allow you to, to glide infinitely. And also, sky platforms that you can zoom up in without really, you're, you're not dying in those tubes. You can glide, you, you pull a glider down nowhere, so why can't we just take no, no damage while gliding? It's, it's just remarkable how unfair it is, because nothing, nothing I can do. Well, I, I can't, you can't avoid it, because they, people laser you. There's nothing you can do against those, uh, those people who shoot you down while you're gliding, and I wish you just didn't take damage. Like, it's like, there's, it's not fair. And I wish they removed the feature to get shot while gliding in midair. Now, some of you may say, oh, it's unfair in late game, but let me just talk about Team Rumble. And Team Rumble specifically remove the, the 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 ability to take damage while gliding. You shouldn't be able to get shot down before you, like, when you respawn, you die. I, I've had uh, instances where I land, like, I died, I respawned, I can't even land without dying. Like, that's how unfair it is. That's what I'm talking about. In regular games, I understand. In late game, not being able to shoot someone down while they're lying is unfair. And it basically gives them all the advantage. And that's not what I'm talking about. Only in Team Rumble. The last thing I want to talk about is uh, emoting when you lose. Now, when, 
when games end, also in the background footage, I, uh, spoiler alert, I lose. Um, I, I want to emote, I want to do an, like, if, well, if you want to do emoticon, like, GG, like, you can't emote, like, the amount of times I, you know, wait, you know, when, like, it's that 149 kills on your other player's team, and I do emotes, because they can't do it while well after the fact that you win, after they win, you can't emote. So, you can only emote when you win, which I don't understand why it's even a feature then, if you can only win in emote, which shouldn't be the case, you should emote either way. This is a miscellaneous thing, like, it doesn't really matter, like, since the beginning of the video, it doesn't really matter. It's just my opinion, I really want to emote while, just to show my appreciation. Because even though I may rage and, you know, call hell to everything, but, um, and say this game is unfair, I want to emote, because it's to show my appreciation. To the, other, to the other team, but I can't do that. I have to do it while the the teams at 147 kills. And even when I emote, you get head sniped, which well, they just make so you can't take damage while emoting because I want to emote when I'm gonna lose, which sometimes that can happen, and it's annoying. And I get that glitch where you, if you die, the second other team wins, you can't go back to lobby and you have to, you have to wait a minute nor fit to kick you out, which is really annoying. That's a really rare glitch, but I still get it. Um, I fear it's gonna happen. So, um, yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed. These are just four points that I made. There's a lot of other points I can talk about. I don't want to rant on and on about those points. Maybe I'll do it in another video. I don't know, but if you guys have enjoyed, hit the like button and subscribe. I'm gonna go now, so bye. Yeah, I confess, father, I confess.